Hello guys and welcome back to Making It with the Matthews. Today's video we are giving you 10 amazing things to do while vacationing on the beautiful island of St. Thomas. As many of you know, my husband calls St. Thomas home. Um, so that means I call St. Thomas home. Our entire family calls St. Thomas home. So I have my laptop and I'm going to be sharing. So many of you know, we also just came back to Saint, from St. Thomas a few weeks ago. And we have some new things on our list, some of them that we, in, you know, kind of encountered for the first time. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now, these recommendations are not listed in any particular order, but will carry you through a series of four categories. So number one being entertainment and excursions, number two being food, number three being sightseeing, and number four being relaxation. So we'll put each of those categories on the items as we list them. But let's get into it, guys. I'm super excited. St. Thomas is such a beautiful place to visit. So first on our list is Coral World and Cookie Beach. So Coral World is a um, marine life park where you're able to do excursions such as like swimming or kayaking with the dolphins. I saw they recently added that. Um, being able to feed the water turtles. Um, there's also a third thing that they're super popular for and it's diving and um, exploring the coral reef with a guided um, person of course so a lot of people you know kind of go to do that activity. Uh, they have the sea lion show. They do also have a bird sanctuary. Now, when we visited Coral World, you know, on any of our trips, it was important for Taylor because she loves marine life. She loves the water. And so we prioritize doing that. We also recommend while you're there visiting Coral World to venture over to Cookie Beach. It's my favorite beach on the island. And we typically do both in one day because when you pay for parking at Coral World, you're able to have that for the entire day. And you can do some snorkeling, you can enjoy island food on the beach, music. It's just really a great experience. If you're looking to relax and just not talk to people, this is not the beach for you. So we um, recommend going to Coral World and then finishing up your day at Cookie Beach. All right, guys, so number two on the list. Now, this is a new addition to our experience while going to St. Thomas. And if you guessed it, yes, it's a day trip to the Lovango Beach Club. And their beach club is perfect for a little getaway where you're just looking to have some peace and quiet or just explore um, a private island. So some fun facts to learn about um, scheduling your trip to Lovango. They leave from the American Yacht Harbor in Red Hook and um, you can go to their website at lovangovi.com and you'll see where you can schedule your trip. So when we visited, we scheduled our trip for 10 a.m. so that we could have the entire day. So you can also leave from St. John and um, they provide transportation in the cost for the day. It's somewhere around $200 per person. Uh, if you're local to St. Thomas or St. John, um, you do get a local discount. So that's great because uh, it reduces the price about $25 to $30 per person. So now when you get onto Lovango, guys, you have access to the entire resort of course um you can do hiking snorkeling um chill at the pool with the cabanas play games uh they have a lot of things well not a lot of things because it's really truly for relaxing but they have enough that if you were bored at any point during the day you could have a good time now we enjoyed having you know wait service because you didn't have to get up and go get your drinks or your food 
you would just order, they would bring it up, bring it over to you, and you could just continue reading your book, listening to music, swimming, you know, all of the fun stuff. But yeah, number two, gotta do this one, okay? So number three on the list is a sky ride to Paradise Point. So if you've seen photos of the St. Thomas or the Charlotte Amalie Harbor, you're probably seeing the photo from the uh, Paradise Point location. It gives you such an amazing view. But in addition to that and having amazing views, there are a few restaurants there and a bar that you can enjoy. Um, they also recently opened up what they call a skywalk where they have shopping and um, being able to kind of like get some gifts for your family and relatives if you're visiting the island. The other thing is that St. Thomas is popular for what's known as the bushwhacker and they've coined, you know, the phrase that you can enjoy, of course, the bushwhacker while viewing the amazing, amazing Charlotte Amalie Harbor. The price for adults, $25 a round trip, and for children, it is $17. So again, really recommend you doing the Sky Ride to Paradise Point. So number four on our list is jet skiing. This is hubby's favorite thing to do on the island or any island that he visits. He loves just being in the water, and so from my initial time visiting St. Thomas, we've done this at multiple different locations. Right now, it's a little bit easier to find them before we've had to go to different resorts to get um, a rental. But now, right outside of the airport at Lindbergh Bay, there is um, a vendor called Fun Time Rentals. They provide jet skiing um, rentals, boat rentals, boat charters. So in addition to the jet skis, they have flyboarding. I know you guys have seen that activity. I haven't tried it personally, but I've heard it's fun. It's one of those things that I'm, I'm not doing that one. They also have the inflatable trampoline water park. Taylor and Travis did that um, about a year ago. They had fun. Um, we'll see if we can find content of that one to put up. We weren't able to fly the drone there because it was so close to the airport, but a really great activity to add to your list. All right, guys. Number five on the list is island hopping. Yes. What's the point of being on an island if you can't island hop? I'm kidding. There are a lot of islands that you can't island hop, but St. Thomas is not one of those, okay? If you're on St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, you have access to so many other islands. Uh, some of them are within the U.S. Virgin Islands territory and others are not. So that's the British Virgin Islands. So we'll start with some of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Some of our top picks um, today will be Water Island, which is a small island just off the coast of um, the Crown Bay Dock in St. Thomas. So if you're visiting the island on a cruise ship, you walk right over if you're in the Crown Bay Dock, you take a quick water taxi over, which is about $15 round trip. You can spend the day snorkeling. Again, there's sea tur turtles on this island. Um, you can enjoy uh, lunch at Dingy's Beach Bar. Uh, there's a volleyball area, there's a grilling area, there's an area for your children to just play with like trampolines kind of in the garden section. So it's a beautiful time. One of our favorite things on Water Island though is renting the golf cart and exploring the entire island. There's also a fort there. Um, we have a full video on it, but Water Island is great. St. John is our favorite um, island to visit while on St. Thomas because St. John itself is a, nat is a national park. And so there's so many different beaches and parks that you can explore. There's also shopping, there's local foods to enjoy. Um, but what we love is the beach. And outside of St. John, we would also recommend one of the British Virgin Islands, it's Virgin Gorda. And on Virgin Gorda, there is what something called the baths. And so you kind of walk from the the beach through the rocks that takes you to another side of the beach we did this with Taylor a few years ago we all enjoyed it 
and we hope to go back um, soon. But for that particular excursion, you will need to have your passport if you're going from the U.S. Virgin Islands to the British Virgin Islands. But if you're traveling between the U.S. Virgin Islands, you do not need a passport to do it. But it's a great experience and one that you should plan to do if you're um, spending more than seven days on the island. Number six is a catamaran day sail. Now, these are very popular in most islands um, that are vacation destinations, and it's the same for St. Thomas. There are a few companies that provide a group day sail uh, excursion that you can book on any of the major hubs. Now, with the group day sail, you're getting snorkeling, food, um, drinks, and party vibes. We also recommend um, a day or stop at Lime Out VI. Now, Lime Out VI is located closer to the St. John side of the U.S. Virgin Islands, which uh, you can only access by boat. Lime Out VI is a restaurant on the water. It's a floating restaurant. You can get tacos. They're popular for their tacos, drinks, of course, and their floating chairs that you're able to pull up your boat and hang out with your friends and just have a great day vibing. Now, if you aren't going to or aren't interested in doing a private charter or you're not doing a day sale that stops off there, if you go to the Limeout VI's website or their Instagram, they list a few different people who are doing um, kind of shuttle or taxi services over to them. But unless you have a boat, you can't get there, which is also part of the allure of enjoying a day on the water. Number seven is the Claire Boat Kayaking. Now, we just mentioned earlier about island hopping. And so if you are planning a day on St. John, this is an activity that you cannot miss out on. The Claire Boat Kayak Rental is located in Maho Bay. It's super trendy. Super Hit provides um, food, restaurants, shopping, uh, just chill vibes where you could play some games, and also rent the Claire Kayaks. There are other rentals that's available there, but the Claire Kayaks we love because you see those for all the places like in Southeast Asia. And so if you're not really good at snorkeling and swimming, but you want to see or kind of engage with marine life, then the Claire Kayak is going to be it. Number eight on our list is something that's near and dear to our hearts because I remember going to St. Thomas our first few years and doing an island tour every single time. Now, the Love Chariot and the driver, Alvin, so he takes you around the island, but around Charlotte Amali, stopping at some of the major tourist destinations including Drake's seat that gives you a beautiful view of Megan's Bay Beach, which is one of the top 10 beaches in the entire world. You also, um, you know, get to stop by Fort Christian, talking a little bit about the history there. Uh, mountaintop, where you're able to have amazing views and shop as much as you want. There's like anything that you're looking for, it's at this place. And again, you also get to enjoy the bushwhacker. But one of the things that we love about the island tour that we introduced our daughter to super early was the history. We love learning about a place and you can't learn about the place without interacting with the locals and this allows you to do that. So we highly recommend an island tour. Number nine on our list is beach hopping. You cannot go to St. Thomas without enjoying all of the amazing beaches that the island provides. So let's start at um, the top beaches. So Megan's Bay, beautiful shoreline, just amazing warm water. Now if you go in the winter months, it may not be as warm, so be warned. Now you will have a little bit more tourist on this beach because again, it's you know kind of like the allure to visit the island. The sand is pretty white as well and you can also get access to food, and drinks, which always helps for your beach excursion day. Next um, would be Lindbergh Bay. I love Lindbergh. The shoreline is just the prettiest, in my opinion. The shoreline is very pretty. 
and the water is turquoise blue and just crystal clear and you also have a lot of activities on this beach it's more um, accessible as well if you're staying in town in Charlotte Amale it's closer to get to than all of the other beaches we also want to highlight Cookie Beach I mentioned this before it's my favorite beach now it is getting a little bit of rock on the shoreline I'm not sure where that's coming from I'm not used to seeing it but I love it because you're able to interact with the marine life a little bit more at Cookie Beach so you can snorkel. The fish actually just swim right up there on the shoreline. And I love that you can get authentic um, island food on the beach. There are a lot of rum bars as well. Most recently I found a fruit stand where they do natural fruit juices and smoothies. And you can add alcohol if you want to. They also have um, water rentals here, not um, jet skis, but I have seen other floating water rentals. So that's a great beach. Now there's also Jam Brewers, which is close to the airport as well. That one's also in town. And uh, there are sea turtles there as well. I haven't seen them, but I've heard about uh, the sea turtles and snorkeling. This beach is very low key. The water is super warm. And again, if you're in town and just looking for a quick stop off to a beach, Jam Brewers is going to be that for you. So Secret Harbor Beach is on the Secret Harbor Beach Resort. Now again, the beaches are public so you can access. What I love about Secret Harbor is that it's um, somewhat secluded and hidden. And it's a gem where the water, the views, the restaurant that's right on the beach... It's just a beautiful haven that I enjoy, and if you're looking for a little bit more secluded, fun, relaxation with not a lot of people, Secret Harbor Beach is where you want to so, be. Number 10 on the list, this one is for all of my entertainment people, people asking about what can we do fun on the island in terms of nightlife. Partying with the band, bar hopping, restaurant hopping, in terms of listening to live music. Now, the culture of music on St. Thomas, in my opinion, the music is a mix between calypso, soca, and reggae. So it's a perfect um, fusion of those three genres. And the beat is fast, it's intense. You can, if you hear the music, you can't avoid bumping your head and moving your body it's just so um fun i love following the bands and listening to the live music and just having a good time that so where can you listen to live music on the island where can you follow the band and truly engulf yourself in the St. Thomas musical culture. So number one would be Margaritaville. So Margaritaville Resort also provides live music on some nights and you're able to um, enjoy, you know, a beautiful view, beautiful meal with also beautiful music. We talked earlier about Paradise Point. Uh, they usually have a sunset party that features a live band on Wednesdays. So this particular band is Top Notch Band. And they play at a lot of other locations as well, too. But if dancing is your thing and you really just want the Caribbean way of soca, calypso, and a little bit of reggae infusion, then you want to figure out this band schedule. Duffy's Love Shack. Now, you may not have live music at Duffy's Love Shack in Red Hook, but they would have a DJ and sometimes live music. So that's also an additional thing that you can do or place that you can go. Now I know we said 10 items, but here's a bonus. Number 11 is spending the day at the shack at Hull Bay. It is reminiscent of Tulum vibes. It's perfect for just enjoying tacos, burgers. But what I love about this is the farm to table approach. There's a local farm close by where a lot of the ingredients are sourced from and the menu is created based on the items sourced and that are in season. So if you're looking for a good time with a bar, music, and good vibes, the Shack at Hull Bay is the place for you.
All right, guys, we've shared 10 amazing things with you. We truly hope that you enjoyed them. These are our 10 things. There's so much more to see and do on the amazingly beautiful St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. We hope you enjoy. Until next time, we'll see you again.